Hello, Pokemon trainers! Professor Chime here, and I'm going to rattle off some recent news because there's so much news that was Pokemon related in the past couple of days, and I didn't want anyone to be able to miss it because there was some really fantastic stuff that went on. So, without further ado, let's get to Professor Chime's news. <music> So, uh, famous singer, celebrity Ariana Grande uh, tweeted out that she was playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee for 15 hours straight on her day off, which set the entire fandom out. They were like, oh my god. I mean, you gotta keep in mind, she's just a normal person that just happens to be a celebrity, so she plays Pokemon just like any of us, right? Um, one thing that I thought was very cool, she actually tweeted out she got an Eevee tattoo, and I thought that was uh, really uh, cool. Uh, and it's a cute little Eevee with its paw up, and it's very cool. Uh, do we have a visual? We might have a visual. All right, next bit of news. We have uh, potential rumors that uh, are going around for the 2019 Switch version. This isn't quite news. This is just a rumor that's really been going around. Apparently... Uh, supposedly we're getting Pokemon Scepter and Pokemon Crown, and there's a bunch of potential um, hints that have shown up in recent Pokemon games. For instance, there's a map that some people are saying looks kind of like England. Uh, the fact that Pikachu and Eevee can get the crown for a lot of money, a lot. Um, I think it was like 99 or 999999 It was some ridiculous amount. Um, but I thought that was a cool little thing to mention here, because if it turns out to be true, then the rumor also states that the theme is like space. So a lot of the legendaries and mythicals will have a space theme to it, um, and that the region would be based on the UK, including a Big Ben and stuff like that. I thought it was a cool little tidbit, but who knows? We don't know anything about Gen 8 at this point. Everything's still in the air. Alright, so did you hear about this grandma, 87 years old, she apparently played Animal Crossing every day for like four years straight, it was almost on the nose, four years, and they bought her a new 3DS and they were transferring all of her games over because they didn't realize how much she played, but she put in over 3,500 hours, it was some ridiculous amount, apparently um, the math, I did the math out and it comes out to like two to three hours a day if she played seven days a week and that's crazy and that just shows that it doesn't matter how old you have to be to be a gamer it doesn't matter anything um i'm i'm very happy to know that she was playing animal crossing new leaf and she's super excited about the new switch one so there was a campaign online to uh, buy her a Nintendo Switch to get her ready for Animal Crossing on the Switch this year. And it, to keep her entertained, they also got her Pokemon Let's Go. I think it was Pikachu. And it, it's really cute because she apparently likes Pokemon as well. And it's Pokemon related. So I figured I'd tell you all about it. It's a really cool little story uh, involving all of it. One of the cool things to also mention is, I guess, going into 2019, uh, Pokemon Go is going to also be focusing on a little more than just Kanto Pokemon. So, uh, first thing coming into this month, we are now going to have Hoenn Pokemon uh, show up a little more often. We're going to be seeing uh, Kyogre and Groudon. Um, in the raids and different things like that. So keep an eye out on Pokemon Go if you play. On top of it, if you uh, take a peek, we have uh, Team Up hitting on February 2nd, and that's going to be awesome with the Tag Team GX cards. I actually picked up the uh, promo uh, collector set that gives you the Magikarp and Wailord Team Up GX promo. 
and I'm really excited for this set. They, they seem just so OP, and I can't wait to see what kind of tactics and tricks that people come up with them. So that's awesome. So the news just keeps on coming. First off, uh, General Mills has uh, their cereal, you know, things like Lucky Charms and Tricks and Cocoa Puffs, uh, Reese's Puffs, and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Um, so they sometimes do these little promotions where you get like three pack of Pokemon cards inside the uh, cereal or whatever. They've done the cereal before. They've also done like the General Mills like fruit roll ups. Uh, last time that happened with fruit roll ups, I had so many fruit roll ups for the next like three months. It was just so many. Another uh, bit of news uh, is from the Detective Pikachu front. So, Detective Pikachu has uh, the new movie coming out, which we all know, Ryan Reynolds and all that stuff, except uh, we now know two bits of information. We know, first off, that they are working on a spinoff of the movie. Uh, already, they're working on a spinoff, so that's going to be cool. I'm excited to see where they go with that, if they choose a different Pokemon or something along those lines, you know, Pikachu on some other adventure, or whatever have you. Um, the second bit of information, uh, spoiler alert, uh, cover your ears if you haven't played the Detective Pikachu game, but we know who the villain is of the uh, movie is going to be the same villain as the game. I'm not going to say who it is, but it seems to be lining up where there's a human-based enemy, uh, like villain in the game, but there's also a Pokemon a villain. If you saw the a poster, there was a big hint of it anyway, so a lot of people already know. Alright, last major story of the day. We've got data miners that have been digging in to find uh, Super Nintendo games and a new classic console possible emulator planned for the Nintendo Switch. So similar to what we have now where it's NES games that you can play through the Nintendo Switch online, it's, it's inevitable that we'll get the Super Nintendo version of it. That's fairly obvious but what we don't know is that apparently there are four emulators that they have found um in there there's the nes there's the super nes and then two others that no one knows what they are exactly but there's a lot of speculation that it's an n64 and gamecube or even possibly a game boy game boy color game boy advance any of those kind of things looking at virtual console from the 3ds era really gives us a lot of hint of what could come so a lot of people think that we might end up getting a game boy game boy color game boy advance those kind of games which would be fantastic because that means we could get uh, red blue yellow gold silver crystal just like we already had on the 3ds but also going even further for the uh, Game Boy Advance games like Ruby, Sapphire, and all of those. Uh, I'm excited. I think that there's a lot of potential here. And I think that if they brought even uh, more games or even more Pokemon games to the Nintendo Switch, uh, it's going to really make the fan base really happy. Um, no one knows exactly what we're getting. We know the Super Nintendo ones have Super Mario Kart, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, different games like that. One thing that's really good to note is not only Star Fox, like the original Super Nintendo Star Fox, but the Su Star Fox 2 that was on Super Nintendo that never got released until the Super Nintendo era, or the Super Nintendo Classic. And... That's awesome. That's actually on the list of things that they found potential. Um, so I'm excited to see what comes out of it. There wasn't any uh, Pokemon games on the Super Nintendo, but if we get N64, that means we could get things like Pokemon Stadium and Hey You Pikachu and uh, weird, cool oddities like that. If we get GameCube, I'd love to see uh, Gale of Darkness or Colosseum or any of those kind of games as well. Um, so who knows? We might end up seeing something very soon. We have no idea just yet. That's uh, just something that data miners have actually found. One last thing to mention, don't forget, when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be doing some giveaways. So 
uh, Turtle Beach headsets and booster packs and Pokemon related things. Um, get me to a thousand. Let's do some giveaways on top of it. So, thank you for joining me for today's episode of Professor Chime In. And today it's just a bunch of news I've rattled off. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to hit the comments below. Uh, what do you think? Do you think that we're going to get uh, N64 and a GameCube or a Game Boy, Game Boy Advance uh, on the Nintendo Switch? I'd love to hear your thoughts below. As always, stay cool everyone and have a great day.